All right, guys, check it out. Today I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Whoa, dude, I almost just poked myself with that thing. You guys see that? Whoa, oh, I see a fishing lure on top there. Hold on. You guys, no way. Dude. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back down by the river. I got my waders on. It's a little chilly, you can see ice floating. But today, we are gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. Now, if you guys remember in our very last video, we actually magnet fished right in front of this old floating house. And we found all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, today we're back out here once again. I'm just gonna keep moving down this shoreline here. We're gonna keep poking around with the magnet and we're gonna see what else we can find. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right down to it. Let's start tossing our magnet. And let's see if we can find it anything here today. All right, guys, check it out. Today, I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. There's a little bit of ice on the shoreline here, but there's not much, you guys. I got my waders on, so we're going in. Something right here, like right at my feet almost. Yeah, come here. Oh, can we wiggle it? Yes. I think I just got it. First throw of the day, are we already gonna find something? Heck yeah. Dude, no way you guys. Literally, first throw, first find of the day, I got me a crowbar. Talk about a score. Holy cow, something like this is easily 20 bucks. It's not broken, doesn't look chipped up or nothing you guys. This thing looks good to go. Heck yeah, dude. I always love it when that happens. First throw of the day, and we already found us a crowbar. Oh man, you guys, this could be juicy. Let's see what else we can find out here. Something right here, what's that? A little action. What the heck do we got on there, you guys? Doesn't look like a whole lot on that throw. For the most part, just a bunch of junk. Oh, check that one out. Some kind of little hook. Maybe that was for like locking a small gate or something. Big old nail sticking off of there, but I see some color, you guys. Check this one out. Don't, no hook on that one. Just a junk jig. Is that something right here? Like right next to my feet? Oh, that is magnetic too. Yeah, right by my feet. What is this? That almost looks like an old wooden bat. You guys, you can kind of see some stuff sticking out of the water if you look close enough. The old school wooden bat, I don't know. But then if you look at this end, it almost looks like some kind of wheel or maybe a roller. So that makes me think maybe it's not a bat. Maybe it's just some kind of wood roller. Who knows off of what? But if you remember in our last video, we kind of found a roller that looks similar to this, but it was like twice the size. So I don't know what the heck these things are, but it looks like we found another one. Oh, she are all snagged up and stuff over here. Right by my feet, really? Dude, is that another one of those? No way, it is too. This is pretty much like the same spot where I just found the last one. Oh, look at this one too, you guys. This one has like a string attached to it. What the heck were they doing with these? That's kind of funky. Ooh, you can see the ripples on the water when the wind picks up like that. It gets cold, man. Something here I'm cranking out of the mud. Yes, that's pretty heavy. Whoa, what is that? You guys, no way. Check that one out. I just found me a super old looking shovel. And I thought something else kind of fell off of there too. This thing, it almost looks like a like a bucket handle or something, maybe, maybe not. Holy smokes, man, this is way too cool. Now, if you look just over there, you can kind of see that actually used to be an old railroad and it used to go across the river. So I highly doubt they were using this shovel to like shovel coal into the trains or something. There's really no holes in this thing though. It doesn't look like it's in that bad a condition. Whew. Pretty cool, you guys, we found us a shovel head. We're on a roll here already. Uh-oh, oh, that's heavy. Oh, we got something here, you guys. Hold on a second, yep, what is this? Whoa, oh, I see a fishing lure on top there, hold on. 
Yeah, the fishing lure stuck to this piece of wood, but we have something cool here. That thing's heavy, man. Hold on, let me get this out of the water. You guys, first of all, we snagged this piece of driftwood here. I don't know how, maybe it was pinched. Oh, I do see a couple nails sticking on there. But look at this fishing lure snagged in there. Hooks on there are definitely toasted, but all she needs is some new hooks and you're going fishing with that one. Some cash money. But you guys, then we found this thing, man. I don't know what to think of this, but it's definitely some kind of roller. 100% for sure. And look at it even rolls yet. You guys, this is some of that squishy roller type material that I found in the past. And I've always thought it was like a washboard roller or something like that, but I've never found one attached to like a metal plate like this. And look at, there's like two little circle discs on the bottom or those like cutting discs. I have no clue what the heck this thing is. Man, that sucker's heavy. That didn't go very far. Sometimes you don't need to go very far. You'd be surprised. I'm probably standing on stuff. Speaking of standing on stuff, is this something right here? Yeah, I just grabbed something, literally right by my foot. What was I, what was I saying there? Oh, look at you guys, it's another roller, but this time we don't have the big metal frame. Yeah, check that out. That is definitely like the exact same kind of roller going on there. The same squishy, like grayish white material, you guys. Got a bunch of like scrapes and scratches in this one. What the heck do you think these were being used for? Pretty crazy, you guys. Now we got two of these suckers. Something pulling, what is going on here? Is that coming with or what? Oh, yo, rope. Oh, I don't wanna lose tension on that or we're gonna lose it, you guys. There's some kind of rope here. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's like going into through two or three different places. I got it. I got this sucker. What the heck do you think that's attached to, man? Hold on a second. You guys, what the heck is going on here, man? Look at, there's like a small, like a string almost going this way. Let's see if we can get this first. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, couple uh, sinkers snagged in there. Check that out, but it's coming up. I don't think there's anything on this end. Nope, nothing on that end, but this end is like a big rope. <laughs> what the heck? Is on the end of this thing. I don't think we might ever find out what this is. Oh, lots of bubbles when I pull on that. Lots of bubbles. What do you think that is? That's not moving, dude. Not even thinking about it. Not even considering it. I don't know what's going on with this one, you guys, but I don't think we are going to be able to find out. Uh, kind of felt like there was something on there. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, that got way crazier, you guys. Looking at the backside, I'm thinking that's just a piece of scrap bracket or something. No, what the heck is going on in there? Those like electrical, what the heck is that? They look like buttons. Yeah, I can like press it. And then if you look at the top here, there's like some kind of little thing sticking off of there with a hole in it. What in the world? Do you guys think this thing is? I have definitely never seen anything like that before. Something clicked there. Is that gonna come with? <laughs> oh, I see some bubbles. Some bubbly bubbleroos. Oh, here we go. Oh man, there's no way. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got it. What do you think this is? Oh, that's that was really, really stuck in the mud. What on earth? I can't tell. What the heck this is? We gotta get this to the shore. Oh, 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 hold on. First of all, we gotta wash all the mud off of this thing. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this flipping thing, man. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. Looks like it's got like a hole running through there. Again, I've never seen anything like this. It almost looks like the, the foot for something. Wow, I gotta set that down. That's like 
400 pounds. That's a funky one there though, you guys. That is like solid cast iron. Something here. You guys, I love this spot. There's so much stuff in here. Uh-oh, hold on. We're getting snagged up on something. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, easy, easy. Huh? I'm still dragging it, even after we got snagged up. Usually them snags will steal your finds. Ooh, is that a, I see like a white wire. Yeah, whoa. Check this thing out, you guys. Is that like some kind of anchor? Or like maybe an old school window weight type thing? You can see it's got the eyelet at the top, but it's got like a some kind of wire tied on there. Check that thing out, pretty cool looking. Some kind of weight for sure, you guys. What do you think? Is that a rock or what? No, that's not a rock. What the heck? Why is that not? Magnetic, you guys. Look what I just found. I thought this looked like a rock. Uh, it's like hardly magnetic, but I think that's like some kind of old school anchor or something. You can see the chain on the top, but I think that's like concrete in there. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's not magnetic. This is like an old anchor that looks like it was made out of maybe a coffee can because there is a little bit of metal peeling off of there. Pretty cool, man. Check that one out. This thing's like a giant wrecking ball, a giant ice wrecking ball. <laughs> Oh, what's this? I think we might be pulling something. Either that or we're just rubbing on something. The heck is going on here? No, we're pulling something, you guys. Yeah. The heck do we got here? Nice and easy. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. Still on there. What do we got? Ooh, some kind of big old ring. What is that? Is that all one piece? I think so. Yeah, check this thing out. What the heck is that? Like the old basketball hoop? Or you guys, could this maybe be like some kind of old school fishing net and we're just missing like the entire net? Definitely could be, but you ain't catching no fish with that net no more. Oh, what the heck? You guys, <laughs> what in the world? My rope is all snagged up in some stuff here. Looks like a piece of wood. Another piece of like a barrel rim or something, but look at this here. That is 100% the old electrical light socket. No doubt that probably fell off of one of these floating houses, but that sucker looks old, man. Holy cow, we are super snagged up in this here. We're catching stuff on accident. There is absolutely no telling what the heck is out here. Something right at my feet. Yeah, what is that? A piece off of something? Who the heck knows what? You can kind of see a little couple holes in there, like some vents. Yeah, what the heck do you guys think this thing is? Got a little white paint on there. Almost looks like a little hood or a little flap off of something. Who knows what, man? Something with like some little drain holes in there. Pretty funky. We're going for a little walk. A little walking, a little talking. I don't know what's going on over here on this side of the house, you guys, but there's like a, looks like a gigantic rock pile. Yeah, I can like stand right up on it. I have a feeling somewhere around here it probably drops off. <laughs> Oh, I stuck something. Look at this one. Whoa, is that like a big water hose knob? You guys know what I'm talking about? Like a water shutoff valve? Maybe, I don't really know. It does look like it's connected to a water pipe or something there. Not sure what to think of that one, but that does kind of look like some kind of handle you could grab and twist. Huh, pretty funky. Mm -hmm. 
Something on there. Oh, look at that one. Big old eye bolt and attached to it, we got some kind of bottle cap. Looks like it says Schlitz. Pretty cool, you guys. What do you think this uh, eye bolt was being used for? Maybe to tie a rope or something? There's gotta be all kinds of stuff sitting around these houses. Oh, something's sticking off of there, you guys. Hey, look at that, man. You guys, I'm pretty sure this is called like a gaff hook. Could be used for something else, but being around these floating houses like that, that's probably what this is. That sucker's gotta be old, man. Now that's a super cool find, you guys. We cost the old... Oh! Oh, look at that, some orange. Oh, check that out, you guys. I know what this is. Holy cow, I haven't seen one of those in forever. This is actually like a fishing weight, but it's a special fishing weight. Typically, you use these when you're ice fishing, you clip it to your line, and then you can drop this down to the bottom, and it's just an easier way to tell where the bottom is. Pretty cool though, you guys, and look at that, it still opens. That didn't sound good. Either it's super shallow over there or we just landed on something. And I'm thinking we might have landed on something. Something's dragging here. What is this? Come here. Oh yeah, whoa. Yes, this is what we're attached to. Look at this, you guys. It's some kind of pole, but it's got like a, a loop or a hook at the top. Is there anything on the other end? No. I don't know what to think of this one, you guys. Just some kind of long pipe looking thing, but it's got like a loop at the top. What do you think they were doing with that one? Something in between the pillars is pulling here. Uh-oh. We're gonna lose her. Oh no, I got it. What in the world is this? It's coming. Is it? Whoa, we got a, whoa. What is going on here, you guys? First of all, what's on the end of this? Doesn't look like anything. Some kind of yellow looking pipe. Is that like maybe an old broom handle or something? Kind of hard to tell. But you guys, whoa, what the heck is this, man? Check this flipping thing out. Oh my gosh, is that like a big old bundle of wires or what the heck is this? Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. It's actually like taped together here with some uh, electrical tape or something. Who knows what they were using that for? Oh. Score, dude, look at this. Look at that, you guys. We found us a fishing lure snagged up in there too. A little bit of cash money. <laughs> Definitely dirty, needs to be cleaned up. Holy cow, look at the gunk on that side. And it still rattles. Oh, I'm stuck on something there. Big old stickeroony. Get off of there. Nobody needs that. Oh, here we go. Dude, it's like every throw in between these pillars right now. Come on, buddy. What do you got for me? Oh my good Lord. Look at all this fishing line. Wow. Oh yeah, we're gonna snap off for sure. Oh, that's a, oh my gosh. Bunch of fishing line, you guys. This stuff's always good to get out of the river. But we had something on here. <laughs> Whoa, you guys, look at this. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six or so metal plates. And they almost look like they're tied together with some kind of copper wire here. What the heck is that deal? I don't know what they had going on with that one, but that sure does look pretty funky. Whoa, what is that? I think I see a couple things on here though, you guys. Oh, hold on. Aha, whoa, look at, 
Yeah, check that out, you guys. We caught us a pliers, but look at this thing. Does that not look like some more of that uh, washboard type roller material? This one's kind of orangish red, but it's got a bunch of them scratches and scrapes on there just like the other ones. Really weird, you guys. We caught us the pair of pliers here. Oh, and look at that, you guys. It still opens and closes. No way. Oh, some cash money. Heck yeah. Ooh, ooh, tripping over the ground, tripping over my own feet. Here we go. What's this? Oh, I heard that crack, probably a stick. I still feel some weight though. We're pulling something, some more fishing line, tons of it. Look at this thing on here, you guys. I thought that was like some kind of scrap bracket piece or something. But if you look, there's like these little twisty turny knobs on each end here. Is this some kind of old school like vice or some kind of clamp? I have no clue really. It's amazing how much stuff is coming out of here, you guys. Decades and decades worth of stuff. Whoa, dude, I almost just poked myself with that thing. You guys see that? Holy smokes. I'm looking through all the scrap on here and I literally almost just poked myself in the arm with this thing. Pretty sure that's gotta be like a plastic type handle because if it was wood, that sucker would be gone by now. That looks like an old one. I don't see any writing or nothing on there. That's pretty cool, you guys. Check that one out. Ooh, look at that, you guys. There's a... A bottle cap on there, it says Chief Oshkosh. Pretty cool. Here we go. Yeah, whoa. Dude, no way. That's really cool, you guys. Look at it, it's a flipping paint roller. Oh my gosh. I don't think you're ever painting anything ever again with this one. Then again, the handle's probably still good. You just need a new roller. Is it still squishy too? It is. Oh, and it rolls. Holy cow, man. How old do you think that is? And how long do you think it was sitting down there? Everything has a story behind it. Can you imagine they probably did the last roll of paint on there and who knows, either they dropped it or they tossed it. Something coming out of the mud. It's every throw, you guys. It's not even every other. It is literally every throw. Oh, look it. Look at this. I'm gonna just grab it with my hand. Yes. Whoa. Look at that, I could see the handle on there. And you guys, I'm pretty sure I know what this thing is. It's been a long time since I found one of these, but it's got the handle on this end, and if you flip it to this end, it's got some kind of hook. I've only ever found these things next to railroads, you guys, and there is a railroad right there. So I don't know exactly what it's used for, but I believe it's some kind of railroad tool. Maybe for like popping up and replacing the railroad plates and stuff without having to bend over a hundred times. Super cool, man. Um, am I rubbing on something? Yeah, right here. Is that metal? It is. <laughs> you guys, whoa, my rope is caught up in something. And I turn around and it's like following me. Oh, hold on. Before we do too much pulling, I see some color. Heck yeah, you guys, a nice little fishing spinner. But what the heck is that, man? It almost looks like a chair frame. Check it out, you guys. This fishing lure here is called Maps Aglia, and this one is a number two. Probably two, three, maybe four dollars. We are on an absolute roll today. Oh, 
whole bunch of stuff going on here, you guys. Tons of bolts and nails and stuff, but look at this. Oh, there's a chain attached to that. What the heck? Whoa. At first I thought this was like an ore holder or something like that. But now I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. It's got like a, one of those dog leash type clips attached to it. And it's not very long. So what the heck you think they were chaining down with that one? Other than that, tons of bolts, tons of nails on there. Ooh, look at that. You know what that is? That's like a stove burner top for sure. Could you imagine if there's a whole stove in here? And check out this shiny one. Looks like we got us a little pipe clamp or the old pipe clip. Here we go. Something grabbing us. Oh yeah. Well, oh, I see some red. Whoa, what is this? First of all, check out this red thing, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of hook thing. Who knows what you were hanging on that? Maybe a rope, the old dock rope. But I think the way that it's shaped, this is supposed to be hung from the ceiling. Other than that, you guys, it looks like we had some kind of gigantic looking steak here. The old tent steak. Here we go. That's heavy. Oh yeah, this is heavy for sure. What do we got? A couple things on there it looks like for sure, you guys. What do we got? Oh, right off the bat, dude, look it. That's 100% an ax head for sure. You can see where the handle goes. Wow, look at that one. We could chop us up some ice. Super cool. Then we found us this thing here, some kind of funky looking ring deal. Who knows what that one was used for. Again, maybe for tying down boat ropes or dock ropes. Then we had this thing, you guys. Looks like some kind of small flat plate there with like a nut and a hole attached to it. Probably some building material here off of the floating houses. Oh, yo, look at, whoa, bunch of stuff going on here, but hold on, do not lose this bundle. I got it. You guys, I see what I think looks like a bobber in there, but this is a big old rope, and usually there's fishing lures snagged up in stuff like this. Oh man, I'm not seeing any fishing lures, none. And it looks like this bobber here isn't even a bobber, it's just the bobber stick. Oh, we got bamboozled. Talk about a snag. How did that get there? Bunch of nails and stuff on this throw, you guys. Looks like maybe some little staples. But check it out. We had a little teeny tiny wrench hiding on there too. And if you guys remember, we did find a pair of pliers too. So who knows? Maybe somebody accidentally did tip a toolbox in the river. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take one more throw here, whether we find something or not. I am absolutely starving. I gotta get the heck out of here and get me something to eat. Otherwise, I could sit here for 500 hours straight. I just never get sick of this. You never know what's coming up next. And in here, it's every single throw, I'm telling you. Yup, look at, can you see the handle sticking off of the bottom, you guys? And look at that one there, it's got like the, the curved tip. Holy cow, man. I don't know, man. You just never know. Somebody very well could have dumped a toolbox in here. the river i got everything packed up already and that is gonna wrap our video up here for today two guys these boathouses are stacked 
It's kind of hard to even hit that area in the boat, but magnet fishing in the waders, you guys, this is a game changer for spots like this. We found tons of seriously cool stuff, and there's gotta be tons left. No doubt we will definitely be back, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.